welcome to Bags and Budgets. I'm Maureen and I hope you're all doing great. I have some important news to share today. I'm filming an empties video because I haven't shopped for beauty products for one year. Yes, a complete year has gone by. I was washing and shampooing my hair yesterday and I was emptying up my shea butter for my hair and I realized a year had gone by and I should do this empties video. So, okay, let's get into it. This looks absolutely gross. Eww. But I'm going to show you anyway. Regular soap bar, blush American cream in bar form, and I haven't used it a lot. It's not as effective as the bottle. Actually, the bottle is still on my shelf. It's still not empty. Then I have a charcoal body soap, a teak bar that is almost used up, and this one is a bar from Lush. And I also had ordered a lot of bad products, like the ones you can hold under the water or crumble up. And they were expensive, but they lasted me a long time. I think I finished them up only two months ago. So let's get into the bottles. Seeing all this plastic really inspires me to go for more plastic free things. First of all, size hair repair, wouldn't buy it again. Very silicone, full of silicones, uh, plasticky stuff. I had like 12 bottles to go through because I bought it in large quantities because I didn't want to pay the shipping costs. Coco and Eve like a virgin balm, smells nice. Is it worth the price? No, absolutely not. This is so expensive, please save your money. Um, she Moisture Raw She Butter Deep Treatment Mask. Absolutely love these, completely vegan, no sulfates, no parabens, no paraffin, no propane, no mineral oil, anyway, no animal testing. Really love these and they weren't as expensive as, definitely not as expensive as the Coco and Eve kind. Then I had Chorus Shower Gel. I absolutely love Chorus, but I'm using shower bars now, so... Then I had two jars of these sea salt body scrub and salt that you can uh, use for your bath by Sim, which is a Belgian brand. I absolutely love these. They are pricey. They are 24 euros per jar, I believe. I absolutely love them. I love the smell. I will purchase them again, but I think I will purchase them if I want to treat myself since it is a big purchase. Then this shower peeling from Aleda. I love Aleda, but as I said, I'm going to use uh, bars now, shampoo, conditioner, and masks for my hair. That's the only thing I'm not going to buy in a dense form. I just want the liquid form because I have very dry and very big hair. I have a big, I just have lots of hair. So I cannot do that. I'm sorry, the products that I've tested aren't as effective as I hoped they would be. So, but this one, no, is going to go hardly ever use body lotion. So this little bottle was at least three years old. I don't think it was even justified for me to use it anymore. Shampoo, which I bought while I was at the Belgian coast at the Ritual store. Would I repurchase this from Rituals? No, I feel like Ritual shampoo, nine euros a bottle or 11 euros a bottle. I feel like it's not worth the price. I'm sorry, Rituals. Way shampoo bottle. Will, will I buy this again? Yes. I bought it on the Vintage app, which is actually the same as a Poshmark app, but only for Europe. Um, so yeah, I will buy Way, but what I do now is I search for my hair products on the Vintage app, which means they cost me a lot less because it's secondhand from somebody that doesn't want to use it. So I don't think I will come across this one anymore. I can understand that the new way is better, but I don't think this was a bad way. This wasn't a bad way. Davines, Davines, Davines Love Shampoo also bought this to the Vintage app because it's expensive shampoo and it's organic. 
will I buy this again? No, I absolutely didn't like the smell. I didn't like the texture. I still have one bottle to go through. This was a very good shower gel. I love all the chorus products, so I would recommend, but yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not buying plastic anymore. I love Cartier, they have really good products. I will try for my clay scrubs to go for more uh, glass packaging, like in a jar. Foundation is actually one of the products that I use up regularly. All the rest, like lip gloss, lip stick, uh, blush, it all, I always last a very long time. So foundation is actually the only thing that goes fast, only not during lockdown because I'm not making my face up every day. So, so and last but not least, I have ordered toothpaste from the UK. I have to say that I had like three jars of these. It's a very good toothpaste. I love it, but it's not so good for your budget. That's the new new conditioner. Very good, very pricey. Won't buy it again just because it's way too pricey. So yeah, there we are. That's actually everything I used up in a year, which isn't that much. And as you can tell, I don't use a lot of products. I think most of the products you've seen here is just for my hair and my hair care, which surprises me because I'm always thinking I don't do enough for my hair. My hair is so dry, but actually I use a lot of products for my hair, yo, really. This was really eye-opening. Also, I don't want to collect as much plastic anymore. Let's see how this goes next year and what I will collect by next year because yeah, a year passes so fast, so this wasn't a hard challenge at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye. <music>